Hey, what's up, Spartans? I am Aisha Tyler, and welcome to the beta. This is so awesome. We are about to throw down on Bungie's newest battlefield, and here is what you need to know to survive. So pay attention, because after I smoke your ass, I don't want to hear any crying through my headset, all right? It hurts the ears, the weeping. This is Powerhouse, a hydroelectric plant prime for carnage. Control the interiors, watch the rooftops, and get your hands on that sweet, sweet rocket launcher. Next stop, Sword Base, a maze of hallways and catwalks. Keep your head on a swivel because your enemies will be above and below you. Now, both are great for Slayer, but they're also set up for Stockpile and Headhunter. Stockpile, this is capture the flag on steroids. Snag flags and bring them home, but keep your eyes on the prize because the flags don't count until the timer hits zero. Now, Headhunter is all about prying your enemy's flaming skulls from their cold, dead hands. That's got to hurt. Destination move. But the more you rack up, the more of a target you become because if you're killed before you collect, you lose everything. So keep that bag of skulls close to your heart. Skull taken. You want to go big? Overlook features generator defense. Spartans versus elites. Elites destroy the generators. Spartans get up close and activate the blast shield. And if you get taken down, launch your counterattack from a new location. The final map in the beta is Boneyard, and it is custom built for invasion. Elites shut down the generators, deactivate the security, and deliver the navigation core to your phantom. Now, Spartans, your job is simple. You stop the elites, because that's what you do. And get this. The weapons and vehicles get more and more deadly as the game goes on. Awesome. All right, let's take a look at the gear. First off, check out your controls, okay? They're a little different this time. I don't want to hear you crying about how you didn't understand which button made you jump. Next stop, the armory. Choose an emblem, a service tag, and a paint job. Not all of the armor is available in the beta, but trust me, there is plenty of cool stuff to check out. And the more you play, the more you get. One thing that is available from the very start are armor abilities. These are killer. First of all, sprint. You feel the need, Spartan? Get a quick burst of speed. Evade. You know that kind of sneaky bob and weave that elites pull in campaign? Well, they can do it in multiplayer, too. Oh, damn you! Active camo. Get cloaked. The slower you move, the longer you stay undetected, so sneak it up. Revenge. Armor lock. When all hope is lost, you get one brief, shining moment of invincibility. And jetpack. Fly like a bird and rain death down on your opponents, but just make sure you feather your landing. Don't come in too hot, you might stub a toe. Choose your abilities, reuse them as often as you like, but pay attention to your power meter because armor abilities need to recharge. If you can't decide, you can switch them up every single time you respawn. All right, now that you're up to speed, it's time to get serious. Let's talk weapons. The Designated Marksman Rifle, or DMR. Medium to long range, zoom, aim, fire, headshot, thud. The Magnum. It's not the size that matters, soldier. It's how you use it. So slow and steady. Let the bodies hit the floor. The Needle Rifle. Mid to long range, great for headshots, makes unshielded opponents explode. That's fun. Plasma Launcher is anti-everything. Hold the trigger to charge up to four sticky rounds and let them fly when you have a lock. First strike. The grenade launcher. Squeeze the trigger to fire an explosive round or hold it to detonate on your own timetable. And you guys need this, because some of you throw like a girl. The shields still recharge, but health packs are back, so find them to heal all wounds and keep one eye on your motion tracker because it's been upgraded. When it comes to matchmaking, you've got a lot of new options here. You can team up with players based on language, connection, or playstyle. If you want to talk a little trash, if you want to find team players or keep it civilized, you can set it up. An active roster lets you link up with your friends. If they're already in a match, QJoin will drop you in when their game is over so you don't have to wait around with your finger up your neck like you normally do. Once you're in a squad, it's time to pick your playlist. All throughout the beta, Bungie will be rolling out new hoppers on the fly. Before each game begins, make sure you cast your vote to get the game type you want, all right? No more veto power. And from here on out, everything you do earns credits. And more credits mean more gear, more bragging rights in your face. And there's no need to be frugal because credits don't carry over when the beta ends. So spend that money, playa! But what good is getting all dolled up if you can't check yourself out? 
When you're done playing, upload your best saved films to your file share so everyone can feast their eyes on your greatness. Oh, feasting, and we're feasting. You know the drill. Stats, content, and late-breaking information can be found on Bungie.net. So what are you waiting for? It's time to gear up and load out. But please remember, this is a live fire exercise, soldiers, a real beta. You're not just playing the game, you're helping Bungie fine-tune the Halo experience. So we thank you for your help and your field reports if you spell check them first. See you in the beta. And hey, if you see someone out there kicking your ass, that's not me. If you feel them first, that's me. My gamer tag is, hey, I just busted you in the ass. I hope it hurt.